All right. So a big part of cooking and chemistry is getting the right amount of stuff, right? You have your recipe, your chemical equation that tells you what you're going to do. And that comes in some kind of fixed ratios, right? You need so many pieces of bread for your sandwiches, um, so much cheese, right? All that kind of stuff. Um, and so we have to get everything in the right proportion. So with these molecules and these atoms, they're just so absolutely tiny. We can't go in there and pick them out one by one. So if we can't pick out individual atoms or molecules, whichever one you want to use, how do we make sure we get the correct ratio slash amount, right? In this case, for every one O2, you want two H2s. How do you ensure that you get twice as many O2s as you do as H2s when um, they're so tiny and you can't really pick them out or anything like that? And the answer to that is um, counting by weighing. So let's do a little analogy here. You've got this whole big old box of uh, nails, and maybe it's even bigger than this. Um, so anyways, you got some kind of job, you're given a big box of nails and you're asked, how many are there? Right. Someone, I don't know, maybe you got some kind of crappy job or maybe somebody just playing a prank on you. Um, they give you a big old box of nails and they tell you, I want to know how many uh, nails are in there. Right. So that you kind of have two options here. You could work harder. And you could try to count one by one. Or you could work smarter. And you could just simply weigh one nail. And then rate weigh the rest of the nails. All right, so let's say you weigh one nail. and it equals 0 0.790 grams. And then you weigh the box of nails, uh, subtract out the mass of the box, obviously, and it weighs 23.20 kilograms, right? And then from that, you can simply calculate how many nails there are. So let's go ahead and do our unit conversion. Um, this thing right here is a conversion unit, right? It contains both nails and grams. This one is just the box weighing 23.20 um, kilograms. So that's what we're going to start off with. So we do 23.20 kilograms. We note that while this mass is in kilograms, this mass is in grams. So we have to change them so that they're in the same unit. There's a thousand grams in a kilogram. So one kilogram down here, 1000 grams up here. That way the kilograms and the kilograms cancel out. And then we know that for every 0 0.790 grams, you have one nail. And now the grams go ahead and cancel one another out. And then we simply type that into our calculator and you get 29,400 nails. Right. So if you try to count those out by hand, it would really take you uh, quite a long amount of time. But by simple, simple weighing, you can count out large amounts of things very easily. Right. And that's the whole point of the mole concept is that we cannot pick out individual atoms. So how do we count atoms in order to make sure that we have the right amount? Well, we simply weigh them, right? So um, things that you really need to be comfortable with, you really need to be comfortable with these unit conversions, right? So you need to be able to do this very easily slash quickly. We're going to be doing unit conversions, unit conversions, unit conversions again and again and again and again. If you get good at it now, this class is going to be so much easier. Chem 102 is going to be so much easier. Chemistry overall is just going to be so much more easier and a much more enjoyable experience if you can master doing unit conversions right now. Right. So even in our box of nails, right, that's a lot of nails, almost 30,000 nails. But think back to our drop of water, right? It contained 1.5 sextillion molecules of water. And that's just in a tiny drop. So again, these molecules are just so incomprehensibly tiny that we cannot think about picking them out individually. We have to weigh them or we have to have some other way to count how many there are. 